Those Palestinian dates you're buying, are you sure they're not Israeli? Israel has been intimidated by Britain's support for Palestinians for decades. And there's a clip in this documentary that proves this, which I'll explain later. When I say Britain's support, I don't mean the British government, I mean the people. More specifically, the British Muslim people. Boycotting Israeli products for us British Muslims isn't new. We've been boycotting these for decades. But in the past, we've been going back to our normal, unethical consumer habits as news of Israel bombing Palestine dies down. But not this time. Especially around Ramadan time, British Muslim communities do the regular circulation of information about checking the label. So you don't buy Israeli dates. But get this, Israeli date companies know that we don't buy their dates and that we pressure stores to stop buying from them. So they have been lying about their dates on their packaging by stating product of Palestine. When I was a producer at Al Jazeera, there was a documentary from 2012 we were updating. And I was shocked when I saw this clip of an Israeli date exporter specifically mentioning the British. But if these dates were produced in an Israeli settlement, why did their packaging say they were made in Jericho, Palestine? Companies like this will export dates that have Arabic writing and the Palestinian flag on the boxes to fool you. So let's break down the different types of dates available and which ones to stay away from. Most dates in the supermarkets clearly state product of Israel. That's why we don't get our dates from mainstream supermarkets, which by the way, you should be boycotting Tesco and Sainsbury's anyway. Then you have the dates with no business name or address on the packaging label, which is illegal. These you must report to your local trading standards office. But the most dangerous of all are the ones that state product of Palestine with the Palestinian flag and Arabic writing or Arabic names on the packaging. If it says product of Jericho, which is in the occupied West Bank, and you cannot find the company or exporter name online on a legit active website, that's a huge red flag. Another red flag is the price. Medjool dates are expensive but the Israeli government subsidizes Israeli agriculture. So Israeli medjool dates are cheaper. You need to be extra vigilant with what you're buying. Only buy the 100% verified Palestinian dates like Zaytun and Yaffa. This way you'll support genuine Palestinian farmers and not Israeli settlers who grow dates on stolen Palestinian land. Dates are Israeli settlers' most profitable crop and they exploit Palestinian labor, including child labor. They steal their water and other resources so that Palestinians are unable to farm and sustain a living, while Israel profits from that suffering. If you want to know more about this exploitation, watch this Al Jazeera documentary. Details are in the description.